Today I'm going to show you how to use collapsible headings in Microsoft Word. Collapsible headings are great for helping you read a document, especially when you have large amount of text. Unfortunately, the Mac version of Microsoft Word does not have the collapsible heading feature. But don't worry, because we can work around it using the Outline View feature. First, open Microsoft Word. I have prepared here a document about the wonderful world of animals. As you can see, the parts in this document are still not clearly labeled. If you see the title and the headings of this document, you can see in our styles group in a ribbon that they're still styled as normal text. So let's set the main text according to their heading styles first. For example, I'm selecting the title here as Heading 1, the second level here for Vertebrates, Invertebrates, and Wonders of the Animal Kingdom as Heading 2, and the third level text here under Vertebrates and Invertebrates as Heading 3. Once they're all set, we can now differentiate the levels of headings in our document. This will help set the collapsible headings in the outline view easier later on. Next, to see our document as collapsible headings, go to your View tab, and in your View tab, click on Outline in your Views group. Your document view will change into Outline mode. As you can see, our title here that we set as Heading 1 earlier is set as Level 1, and our Heading 2 is set as Level 2, and our Heading 3 is set as Level 3. To make it clear, Level 3 is a part of Level 2, and Level 2 is a part of Level 1. If you want to collapse the contents within those heading levels, you can go to your Outline Tools and click the minus button to collapse the heading contents. Right now, when I click the Collapse button once, it will collapse the contents by one level, which removes the body text. So now we only have the headings for Level 1, Level 2, and Level 3. And if I click the Collapse button once again, it will collapse the content again by one level, leaving us with only our Level 2 headings. If I click the Collapse button once again, it will collapse the content again by another level, leaving us with only our Level 1 heading, which is our title. If we want to expand our text again, we can simply click the plus button to expand the heading contents again, like so. Or, instead of clicking the plus or minus button in your outline tools, you can simply double-click on the main heading levels to collapse or expand the contents within those headings. Another option, instead of clicking onto the heading levels one by one to expand or collapse it, you can also go to your outline tools and select the show level options. For example, we want to show level 1, so when you click on level 1, only our heading 1 will appear. Or if you want to show level 2, our heading 2s will appear. And lastly, if you want to show level 3, our heading 3s will appear. At this time, if ever you want to change your heading levels, you can click on the heading that you'd like to change the heading, Go to your Outline Tools and click on the green arrow pointing left that says Promote to move up your heading by one level. And if you want to bring it back down by one level, you can simply click on the green arrow pointing right that says Demote. Now, if we promote this mammal heading which is now on level 3 by one level to level 2, when you click on Show Level 2 in your Outline Tools group, your mammal heading will now be included in your level 2. But of course, that's not where this heading is supposed to be located at. So just click on Ctrl Z to undo, and now it's back to where it's supposed to be. And that's basically how you utilize the outline feature to have collapsible headings in your Microsoft Word Mac. If you click on Close Outline View, you can go back to Word Documents Default View. That's it! That's how you utilize the collapsible headings in Microsoft Word. Very easy yet useful, right? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a like, comment down below for any questions, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Make the most of your MS Office skills and maximize your professional performance. Till next time!